Boss, we've gone over the prisoner transport log you found. Quiet was grabbed by the Soviets and moved to Lamar Hate Palace. She's being held at Lamar Hate Palace. Make your way there. They lost a lot of men to her. Can't blame them for wanting payback. But why did she just let herself get captured? I think it's time you knew. Quiet was carrying vocal cord parasites. The English strain, to be precise. The third English pair. Skullface was using her as a vector, an ace in the hole if his assassination plan failed. I knew it, but why they chose not to speak? She told me the situation in Dine, Navajo, the only language to which the parasites do not react. If you found out, she could not remain among you. And yet, she refused the Obakia treatment. Why? Because part of her still wanted revenge against you. Revenge against the boss? In order to stay here, she took a vow of eternal silence. But then, that sudden mutation showed this was not enough. As long as the parasites were inside her, she could not predict what might happen. And that's why she took off? Sacrificing herself to make sure the English strain died with her? Maybe. Or maybe she only wants to infect the world. Whatever her plan, we can't let her go free. The vocal cord parasites are the last of Skullface's legacy. It's up to us to erase it. Boss, the targets are quiet and the English strain she's carrying. Your objective is to extract her. But if worst comes to worst, she may have to be eliminated. Both her and the parasites. We don't know for sure what Quiet's up to, but we need to secure her ASAP. She's being held at Lamar Hate Palace. Make your way there.
reinforcements are approaching. Get ready while you have the time. Give them ammo. Now is your chance to stock up. Give the order from your iDroid. <laughs>
quiet.
The boss is with me. Ahab? Wait, who is this? Identify yourself! There's no time! Hurry! Where are you? What is your location? No, you're moving away from us. Circle back to your 8 o'clock. Copy that. Guide me to your location. Proceed to your 10 o'clock. Understood. Come back towards your 1 o'clock. Copy. 1 o'clock. Shift slightly to your left. Now proceed straight. 1.5 miles. Slide right. A little more. Yes, there you go. One more mile. Strong winds approaching. Quick, adjust to your right. Boss. Boss! I gave you an anti-venom. Where's Quiet? I... We've got to go. <clears throat> uh. 
Let's go, boys. I did not choose to be quiet. I wanted to express my feelings to you. If only we shared a common tongue. Vengeance was what drove me to them. The only language left to me, revenge. But the words we shared, no, that was no language at all. That is why I chose the language of gratitude instead and go back to silence.
the results of quiet scans? Yes, as I suspected. Her entire body underwent parasite therapy. The parasites compensated for her burnt epidermis and provide her blood with oxygen through cutaneous respiration instead of pulmonary respiration. In addition, they replaced the digestive organs she lost, and she receives carbohydrates through photosynthesis. Was Skullface responsible? There is no other possibility. Skullface ordered Quiet to assassinate Snake, only she got set on fire instead when he woke up in that hospital. But then Skullface revived Quiet through his parasite therapy, at the same time infecting her with the English strain. That way, even if the assassination failed again, she could still kill all of us just by coming here. That was the third English mating pair. Correction. The first and only English pair to be carried by a person. So either because she wanted to get even with Snake, or because she was working for Skullface, Quiet approached Snake again. Though in the end, for whatever reason, she did not complete her objective. Some change of heart, perhaps. We won't hear it from her. No, DD, stop. Sorry. Been away a while, huh? Don't be such a stranger. Such a bad example for the men. And he gets swollen too. Diddy, come!
back on your feet so quickly? Hmm. There's a non-smoking ward. Boss. If I listened to everything the doctors said, I'd probably die in here. No point waking up after nine years for that. Well, having you out of that bed makes things a little easier. Bad news, huh? Hmm. Things are looking worse. Go on. They found out about you waking up. And the man on fire picked this time to wake Boss. up, too. We'll have to move Go forward on. ahead of schedule. Miller already has the preparations underway. We'll have to wake up your neighbor, too. So he's not... He seems awake now. No. Well, he's not actively conscious yet, at least. He was a doctor, too. In his mind, that past no longer exists. Your past is his past now. He's going to be your phantom. Not some simple diversion. He'll act as the new big boss. And the act just isn't for Cypher. He'll be your face on the world stage, until the time comes for your resurgence. You make it sound easy. We've been busy over the last nine years. His altered state of consciousness has helped us implant powerful suggestions through induced hypnagogia. He's experienced all your missions on record and shares all your knowledge and experience to make him believe that he is the one true big boss. No one around him will doubt that he's the big boss they know. So is he the real big boss or a stand-in? What does that mean to him? Nothing. The human brain is capable of many illusions, of pain, of the future. What happens from here depends on his skill. You can vouch for that. He was always the best man we had. But... Nine years ago in that helicopter, he threw himself between you and the blast. In that moment, the man you knew died. He died protecting you. And now, by becoming you, he protects you again. This is just a detour in his journey to hell. And don't forget, it's what he wanted. He's in his dog days now. Hmm. It's not just him. We'll be putting the people in this hospital in the line of fire. They'll be your shield and necessary diversion to buy us some time. And you? I'll be right by his side. Can you keep it up? It's a hell of a lie. It, it won't be a lie. How about it? I won't know his secret either. <laughs> I'll believe that he's the real big boss. I'll have no conscious knowledge of you. Where's the lie in that? Self-hypnosis. It's nothing new in my line of work. Manipulating memories the past, but that's not all. When the time is right, I need to remember that you're the real boss. In a world, it's double think. In this year, two plus two equals five. And I want you to do the same. Right. His bodyguard? Correct. It won't be long before this hospital comes under attack. We'll wake him up right away, but he won't be back to full health in time. You'll need to take him through his final paces. Yeah. I want to see his face again. All right, John. I've never forgotten you in these nine years, but I have to forget you now. Adam, I'm counting on you. What's up? About the 1972 project. Les Enfants Terribles. <laughs> you never did like the French. <laughs> All that Catherine the Great aristocratic pompousness gets to me, that's all. Palace talk. They can keep it. Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That madness Zero started. Or the start of his madness. You found out something new? The plan itself was abandoned in 76. ATGC dismantled the project, and their account with DARPA was closed. So I was worried about what happened to you. Your sons. They're no sons of mine. And they're sure as hell not me. Just a bunch of cells grown in a lab? What they are is much sicker than that. Well, Zero doesn't think so. Eva doesn't either. To them, those boys are your clones. They're you, down to the last hair. And? The first boys were raised free-range, like we thought. Both of them. David has never left the States. But the other, Eli, has disappeared. Might as well call it abandoned. They're through with him. Where is he? He was in England, Zero's home ground. Apparently, he traveled to Africa after that, but that's where he escaped from Zero's care. Just like that? Why? Who knows? Maybe he found out about his birth. If he's alive, he'd be 11 or 12 by now, old enough to think and act for himself. So he might still be alive? On his own, there? I wouldn't bet on it. John, if he is alive, what's the plan? I have nothing to say to him. Treat him like a human being, just another person. 
Boss, this war business you and Miller started, since the industry spread out to the PFs, it may have a favorable influence on Cypher. To a ruler, an everlasting enemy is convenient. By directing the public's animosity outside his borders, he can unify their frame of mind. Guns for hire continue the war, then enrich the economy with their spoils. War as a business will become a permanent tool for manipulating the public mind. A new business model. You might even call it a war economy. Before long, Cypher, or rather the Patriots, will be drawn to this. Probably only a few decades before it takes hold. It's not far off at all. Still no leads on Zero. We don't even know whether he's still alive. But the protocol he put in motion's making steady progress. Every day, Sigan's web covers a little bit more of the globe. Total information control. Big Brother Zero. And it'll happen before anyone even realizes. I don't like it. You're the big brother of the battlefield. You've earned a firm grip on the world's military power. But soon, Zero will have nations in his. He'll erase the Cold War, all war from people's minds, and with it, the world's borders. Zero's will, his influence, will be unleashed with nothing to stem the tide. When that happens, opposition will no longer match the lines on the map. And boss, with no borders left, what difference can we make? War will have lost any true meaning to the world. Just one more gear keeping the wheels of economy turning. Another product bearing down the capitalist conveyor belt. The future your friend Miller wanted. That's all there is in store. Perhaps it's already too late. But human will should only be handed down and nurtured by human hands. It can't be entrusted to the system. Especially not that soulless phantom that Zero's left in his wake. No matter what happens, we'll have to fight someday to reclaim our truth. Until next time, Big Boss. Someone has successfully struck at Zero. Since Zero's using a private network, we get information, but we have no way to trace his location. That means the details are still fuzzy at this point, but apparently some new bioweapon was used. As soon as he noticed the dip in his vital signs, he had his stomach pumped and even underwent blood dialysis. But he didn't fully recover. Ironically, if Zero kept more company, he'd have been safe. Since the incident, his speech and actions have been getting more unhinged by the day. He's probably been rushed to another safe house for intensive care. But the location is a complete mystery. That's the way he operates. He went to incredible lengths to make sure his great escape went unnoticed. Roger. So far, I know at least Langley and the Pentagon were involved. He had a blackout triggered in New York to disrupt the transportation and information grids, and at least two submarines were sighted off the coast. The personnel involved were working off a cover story. Naturally, the White House was fed the same thing. The project is buried under a pile of dummy ops and backup plans stretching across multiple organizations. It's safe to say not one of the people involved knew what they were moving or to where. All top secret. No trail, no leads. He's living up to his name as usual. Only this time, even I can't find him. Now the only record of his location lies within the cipher AI that was at the heart of the escape plan. And that's closed off, with its data sealed away in a secret location. Skullface was able to put together this assassination attempt, but even he can't possibly know where Zero is now. I'll keep searching, but when you're up against he who controls... Try this on. A prosthetic arm. Yeah, Miller was calling it the...
You mentioned that what language... I just received word from... You said that the... Code talker. You said... Original. <sighs> Why active? There was... You know, when you brought back on, there's something I want. There's going to be a... Feel it. Right? Masi Laman was full of Mujahideen, the Hamid fighters. Then suddenly they disappeared overnight and the Soviets moved right in. I guess the old fort is still in good enough shape that the Soviets want to use it as is. This means that the battalion commander stationed in Sakai village, a lieutenant colonel, is moving his operations room to the fort. Word is, he's an excellent leader. With him stationed at Smasi Fort, the Soviet forces in the area will operate all the better. And according to the client's information, He'll be bringing a tank unit to the fort as well. We don't know the redeployment date or the route they'll take, but there must be some planning documentation where the colonel is. You have two objectives. Eliminate the colonel and stop the tank deployment. Counting on you, boss.